What's going on guys? Mega Gig back with another video back with our Dark Elves Let's Play with Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and we did leave it off with this Chaos Rebellion attacking us in Nagarond and uh, yeah I don't feel secure enough I don't feel safe enough auto resolving this so we will be fighting this one uh, they don't really have a whole lot that we have to really worry about our our units are as good as theirs for the most part uh, but we do have to worry about this and we don't really have any flying like harpies or something that we can send out to get it so we're going to have to send something out and around let's see where they put it so they've put a few units over here uh, it is right out in the middle of course it is and then there is their leader and here's the rest of the stuff these rams will probably come over here so let's get everything kind of down here we'll put we'll just let these guys fire over here more or less on those guys because I'm gonna have my archers and whatnot over here and I don't want them getting in the way we'll send we'll send these guys out we'll just send them straight away out to get that so let's have our death hag here they're gonna be coming through the gate so we'll have one of these here and let's see I want to leave these guys what are these guys uh, chaos trolls and horsemen so they're not gonna be doing much they might try and come through the gate though so let's put these here. These guys should be able to hold them off. Scooch them up a little more. And then we'll put these guys at this gate. But we're, we don't want them in the way of these guys here. And then we'll put, just because their general is probably going to come up here, we'll put these here. And then we'll have some... Black Art Corsairs. Let's just do one. And I don't want that one. I want this one. Let's just do them. And then we'll have these like this. Uh, we'll have these guys because I think, yeah, they can fire in a, in a circle. And they're good at melee too. So they can fire while they're fighting. We'll put these guys up here. And we'll put these guys over here kind of like this so they can fire. Should be able to reach. Ah, they can just just reach that gate, can't they? Um, well, I don't know. I guess we can put we can put one right here to fire on whatever comes through the gate. We'll leave these guys about here. So they can still get whatever gets close to the gate. They'll have control of that tower. Not too worried about having control of these towers. We're going to run these guys straight away out there. Uh, and then what do we got back here? Oh, these are our bolt throwers. We could actually have one bolt thrower right here. And... Yeah, they can fire up and over that. And then, yeah, we'll have this one about right here. Fire up and over that wall. At that stuff. And that should be good to go. Let's go ahead send these guys out. We probably don't need to send both of them, honestly, but we're going to. Because we've got them, and they look really cool. And those are all good reasons. And then we'll bring them straight back in. Uh, or we may just charge in. Eh, these are hailbirds. We don't want to charge into them. But they're not going to be paying attention to any of my guys. I'm guessing since these are uh, monstrous infantry, they're probably going to be trying to come through this gate. Which is Black more gods. than fine, because Black our hailbirds... Uh, these are our our super elite Black Guard of Nagaron. They will be able to hold their ground, and then some. And these guys have taken a few hits, or a hit from this, I guess. Ooh, that hurt. And these guys are lined up really weird. There, now charge in. 
I don't think they're going to get another shot off. Oh, they are. Whoa, point blank. That hurts. But these guys will get them now, no problem. Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, they're going to try and break through that gate. Not too big of an issue. What's this here? Cannot move. We'll wait until they get in range, and then we'll cast that on them. And as soon as these guys are done, we might go ahead and charge into these with our Dread Knights. We'll bring these around. We'll charge into them. All right, we are in range, just in range. Can't move. <laughs> All right, let's charge into them with these. We'll charge into them in the back. I realize they're hailbirds, but because we're going to surround them, we should be able to do some good damage here. And for cavalry units, these aren't really that fast to be honest. Our gates are destroyed. Let them come. Let them come. They might be Chaos Spawn, but we are Black Guard of Nagarond. And, whoa, they've got... Oh, darn, those are Marauder Horsemen. Yeah, we've broken them, so let's actually charge in with these guys. What do we got going on here? We can do that. Caused tons of damage. Wow, that just knocked all of them off the wall and did a ton of damage. Where is their general? Oh, there's their general. Let's send our death hag in. These guys should break just from the towers, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, our black arc. Corsairs here are firing. They're actually getting into melee, too. Let's send our Black Guard of Nagarond in. The general's just kind of mowing through our people. But our Black Art Corsairs with the handbows can fire while they're in melee, which is really nice. And, oh, we're going to get caught by these Chaos Spawn. Our black guard over here doing fine, doing fine. Let's keep these guys from moving. And yeah, we're going to make short work of them. Let's go ahead and just send these up here. We're not going to need them. Pull these out. These are just garrison units, so we don't really care about losing them. But that's not exactly what I was wanting them to do. So let's charge in behind of these chaos spawn. I guess we should have sent some of these black guards out there. They're not really needed, but... Now, these are the Dread Knights, so they are good against uh, melee units. The Just the regular cold ones have the, the Hailbird weapons and are good against big infantry. So let's go ahead and pull these out since we've got that coming over. And it looks like we actually don't aren't going to need them over here. Everything else is routing. So we'll just go ahead and charge right into the back here again. One of the units used all its ammunition. These guys, uh, no kidding. These guys are routing here. That's pretty much it. We're just about to hit our murderous prowess. Or no, we already hit our murderous prowess. But we've got to beat these guys. Because they... There they go. Because they can't break. And that should be it. Should be it. I don't see any other enemies. And is that not it? Are 
these guys. Let's see, cannot move. Why isn't it over? Does their general have to die for it to end? Are there some units stuck? They're shattered. I don't understand. You hoo! Let's end this. We lost one of our dread knights. Interesting. They must uh they ran out of control and probably ran off the map. Well darn, I hope it doesn't bug out. Can we no, I don't want to concede defeat. If it bugs out, I'll probably pause it and have to run out the time. Or I'll pause the recording rather. Any chance they can fire right there? They ought to be close enough. Your gates are destroyed. What is this? There's a chaos spawn left. What is this guy doing? There he goes. So there was one unit of <laughs> chaos spawn left beating down my gate trying to get to me. And that's why it couldn't end. Interesting. Very interesting. That's okay. Um, you know, we could always use a little extra money. We don't need the replenishment and all that stuff. Since it's a garrison army. In this particular case, enemy killed in battle. Good reward. Should issue raid the following region. Alright. Ah, yes, we ended on a big battle here, too. And Malekith has another skill. Um, let's get uh, Doom Bolt. What did we get last time? I forget what we got last time. Actually, a Lightning Strike would be really nice. I'm going to get that now because I don't want to forget it. And then we'll get the Doom Bolt and our Death Hag. Um, we'll give Foe Seeker. Should be able to run these guys down pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Now, these we will replenish. And we have a mission to raid this. What is the... If we do not strike first... Uh, raid... I don't care about that 800 treasury. We're going to just take this right back. Uh, we're not going to loot and occupy. We're just going to... Regular occupy... All right, because I want to take this over. Let's build this up. And we've got a decent amount of money now, which is really good. What else do we got? We've got Destroyer and Supreme Spell Shield. Win the following battle. Oh, that's right. We've got a quest battle. I completely forgot. Again, I forgot. And then earn the following amount from raiding 500. Uh, well, that might have been worth the raiding. Lord of the Black. See, we can almost reach whatever this is. But I guess there's a storm? No, this is considered deep waters. This area is definitely different than the Vortex map. I will say that much. Alright, Malekith got another skill. Let's give him the Doom Bolt. We've been waiting long enough on that. And our Sorceress, our Fire Sorceress. Um... Public order is modified by one. Doesn't sound too bad, really. We have been struggling with public order. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, we've got another unassigned skill point by this guy out here. We'll go with public order again, although that is stabilizing here. Uh, we can build public order, we can build some gates, which is probably the smart move. 
we still got all these beastmen to worry about. Yeah, these guys coming over here. For the Witch King! Hateful bidding! We do have an okay garrison, but we don't have walls. We'll go ahead and build them if we can. Let's build some roads. Upgrade, upgrade. Nagaron has an upgrade. Yeah, we can actually use that because our corruption is pretty high there. Um, tell you though, they've got some pretty nice units here. This is not going to be pretty because we don't have walls. This is going to be a straight up battle. We don't have. We have one thing of spearmen. Let me see. We've got one archer, two, three, four, five archers, three cav. Yeah, this is not going to be a pretty battle at all. Um, but next turn we'll be heading out here to take this out. This will be secured and we can bring Malekith over and get rid of all this mess over here and start to sort things out before we take this stuff. Uh, we've got a hero not moved. Maybe, oh look, we're just in range. Can we assault these units? Come on, that would be perfect. Yes! Oh, that is so much better. That is good. Alright. That worked out great. And I'm not worried about these guys at all, still. Our garrison... Our garrison is actually at full strength, except for... No, there's a couple of them that aren't. It's pretty close, though. Pretty close. Let's go ahead and end the turn. End the turn and see what transpires. Got to get rid of these beastmen. Got to quit having these um, these rebellions. Got to get all this stuff under control. Foreign trespasser from our mom. Look at that. Well, not actually, but our mom's uh, faction destroyed. Who destroyed them? Somebody went in here and raised it. Must have been the beastmen again. Well, we will occupy it. Uh, they're going to come right back in, I guess. Yeah, they are. And, but we can get rid of them quick, fast, and in a hurry this time. Uh, treasury, that's not really that much. But it's better than anything else right there that we didn't have. Alright, so that's at minus two. They didn't actually attack us here, and they're not in range. These guys are healing up. Just keep assaulting the units if we can. Oh, dude, we can! Oh, oh nice. Very nice. Uh, we'll go for income from slaves. Why not? Alright. Let's get as close as we can over here. Yeah, this is going to be falling pretty fast. Um, if we have a rebellion, though, we'll have walls. We'll have a good garrison here. I don't think... I don't think Malekith's going to have to come back that way. We're not at war with these guys, but we might go ahead and kill them because... Uh, because they're here. You know, unless they get out of the way. They do have all these minotaurs. Uh, we're going to have another rebellion over here pretty soon, it looks like. This is nice on the income, though. Let's check our diplomacy. We still we aren't trading with anyone, are we? These are the only guys that halfway want to trade with us, but they won't trade with us. And I was thinking a couple of turns ago they wanted to actually confederate with us, but I could be wrong. We're going to get this stuff sorted out. Uh, we're going to take over this stuff. Look at the high elves coming in. What are they doing? Hey, what is uh, Lothern doing over here? What in the world? Don't they have enough stuff going on over here? And now they have that. So if we want to take over all this, we'll have to actually go to war with them. Uh, more beastmen. But I don't really want chaos messing with us up here, so we may forego that war for now. It's in the turn. We may not do that right now and go up and get rid of chaos up there. I'd rather have my rear borders safe and secure. 
I'm not sure how the chaos invasion works on mortal empires because um, there's kind of chaos wastes all north so I don't know if they're gonna come here or where they originally come in or what so we do need to kind of be prepared for that Nonis over here has got public order. That's good. Do we have anything we can give him? Useful banners, income from post battle loot, enemy hero success chance. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Let's check our other. Um, see, make sure we've given her some stuff, and we haven't either. So, uh, cloak of twilight sounds pretty good. Miscast chance, that doesn't really help us much. Don't have any of those, those. I already checked that, so. And it looks like these guys might be trying to come out here. Where we would like to get our walls and some resources. These guys are pretty depleted. Let's see if we can't get these guys assaulted as well. Our chance did go up some. Nice, we did. That's good, because we don't need these guys running around right now. Let's give income again. Got another building at Nagaron. Ooh, we can go up to a level 5, or a level 6. Or no, it's a level 5. Yeah, it'll take 6 turns. So... All right, let's take over this. Uh, I'd like to do a treasure hunt, but I don't really want to wait an extra turn. I want to go ahead and get this colonized. Normally, I would do the treasure hunt, but because we've got all these beastmen running around up here and I want to get everything sorted out, I don't really want to wait another turn. So we're going to do that. We've got a commandment available now. Uh, province instability is going to go down and corruption is going to go down so let's go with public order and then we've got a special slave building we can build here later on so we're going to start sending slaves here uh, for the most part we're probably just going to send slaves to our main uh, place which is the iron mountains and then um, the Broken Lands. So the Broken Lands and the Iron Mountains, uh, which is what we have. And we don't really need to request extra at this time because it's just going to split them evenly anyways. So yeah, that is it on that turn. Let's go ahead and end the turn. We've got our income coming back up some, which is nice. We're at 3k. So we're starting to get somewhere. We just need to get rid of these guys. We need to completely root them out of our lands. I've never seen so many beastmen come all at once. Oh wow, Lothern and Tyrannoc confederated, which is not good for us because they were both down here, so now Lothern has grown. Grown more stronger. Of course they're going to come over here to Kragoth Deep. But we've got um, got a decent garrison there too, so these guys combine their units. We'll see if we can just keep doing this. And we did. We keep. I haven't had so many successes doing this in my life. We've got two rights. We're definitely going to go with the public order right now, and then we'll go with uh, we'll get another black arc afterwards. Dark Lord. But I'm not, uh, I don't, if they were in range for the garrison, I'd go do it, but they're not. So, let's see here. Let's go with, uh, Well, we're going to be sending slaves here, so I guess this is a good building to start. 
although we can't go up to a level four here. How many slaves do we have here right now? Not very many, so that's not really going to help us right now. I guess we'll build some walls. And yeah, we're still going to do that, so we'll send them right there. Let's see. Yeah, then it goes down to minus two. So we'll leave them in those lands for one more turn. Let's give our skill point. Uh, let's go with more melee defense. We want to get that as high as possible since she doesn't have any army. Any army? Since she doesn't have any armor. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind upgrading that, but I don't want an empty slot here. So I guess we'll probably put some walls here for now. Um, when we get all this stuff stabilized, we can tear down some of these walls we don't think we'll need and put in some more economy buildings, uh, like roads would be really nice. If these guys stick around, I'm going to take them out. If they don't, then I won't worry about them, but I don't want them raiding my lands. So... And we can upgrade this to Dark Riders with shields. And a repeater crossbow. We don't really need them right now, so I'm going to save the money. Let's go ahead and end the turn again. Population surplus. All right. We need another big quest where we, uh, where we get a big chunk of money. Lothern and Nagareth. That's interesting. They're both High Elves. High Elves fighting amongst themselves. Good, good. Now these guys here are uh, Chaos based as well. And so I've also heard in other people's um, campaigns that they've been running wild up there too. But they seem to be staying pretty, pretty up there so far. Alright, alright. Let's see. Yeah, we can't see, but you can tell by the little thing there. The people are displeased. Let's upgrade this to a level three. We'll upgrade this, and we can't upgrade this now. So let's let's get rid of that. And now we can upgrade this. That'll give us some more money. And this is just at minus one now, and that's going to keep falling off. So corruption will fall off, and then the instability will fall off. Who got level three over here? Ah, yes, her. Very nice. And these guys are trespassing. I'm not sure why. And we did get our level three. All right, we can build this up, too. We did get our level three walls here, which is really nice. And they're actually out of range. Most of our slaves are over here, so I'm going to send our spy over here because we gave him the income from income from slaves here, and uh, it's a constant local effect. Income from the slaves in local regions. I didn't see my income go up, so maybe it takes a turn to take effect. I don't know. I don't know. Next building we're probably going to have to build here is a, a public order building. Let's go ahead and force march this way. Oh no, we're going to take uh, chaos corruption. We're going to take attrition. That's a bummer. I wasn't paying attention to that. Let's end the turn. And hopefully these guys leave our lands. If they don't, I will be dealing with them. Don't you worry. We're going to get rid of all these darn beastmen that are running all over the place. I assume we're going to have Lothern to deal with really soon. That's them right there. I don't think we're actually at war with them, though. I'll have to check. But I imagine we're probably not friendly with them. Yeah, there they go. We're getting some chaos corruption spreading. Well, it's going down. It's going down by 3%. Ours is going up by 2%. Nice, nice. Skaven conflict. Be at war with the Skaven clan. I might do that. Let's check and see. We're not at war with Lothar. We're actually proving. 
Wow, look at all they own. Well, they did confederate. That's true. They did very well confederate, but they are definitely more powerful than us. But we are improving. We're still deteriorating with these guys. For what reason? Who knows? They don't even know. They they like Clan Septic. They don't like me at war with them. That makes no sense. But power, great power and aversion. Yeah, that makes total sense. That's dumb. <laughs> uh, what is the chaos corruption over here? 47%. These are all... Um... You know, we've got our walls built up now everywhere. So I think... I think I'll actually go ahead and go after these. There's that. There's the Venom Glade way over here. Uh, Storag. That was taken by someone. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go after these. Because public order shouldn't be... Um, you know, let's, uh, hmm, where's a public order building? Yeah, we can get to level three, which is plus six. So yeah, instead of that, let's get rid of that, and let's put a public order building here to kind of help this out, because we've even got the public order commandment on, and it's not doing too good over here. Corruption is a big big issue as well and corruption is still going up yeah we need to get rid of these um, these beastmen so let's head over here and get rid of these beastmen let's force march the only thing that's really annoying is when they're on the beast path they can move wherever they want and it gets really hard to chase them around so let's use Malekith and strengthen strengthen all of our stuff plus he'll help with the public order because this is stabilizing and this is mostly kind of sort of stabilizing. It will be after the province instability continues to drop off. Level 3 here. That's all we can do. And I think that's where we're going to call it, guys. So, uh, yeah, we got to have a nice little battle in there. And then uh, we're going to hopefully take out these beastmen next time. Does it say, did the other ones go didn't say if the other ones went went uh, oh and I just realized that was a mission failed not a mission issued oh no it is a mission issued the fall of the rat okay I was reading that wrong I read it right the first time uh, anyways yeah we need to get rid of these beastmen uh, we're doing okay over here now this will do even better once we get rid of that corruption, and we're getting rid of it pretty good, but Skaven is apparently going up over here from Osmosis, which means there must be Skaven corruption. There's none there. There's no Skaven corruption here. I mean, hardly any. So why would there be a little bit of Skaven corruption growing from over here? That's dumb. That's dumb. So, but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more. We'll pick it up right here, right where we left off next time. Take care, guys.